a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Reactions to the Poisoning of Sergei and Yulia Skripal Reactions to the Poisoning of Sergei and Yulia Skripal on 4 March 2018, in Salisbury, Wiltshire, England, with an Avichok nerve agent, emerged, from both within the United Kingdom and Russia as well as from around the world, including the European Union, and Commonwealth of Independent States, other states and institutions, and people throughout March into April 2018. On 26 March 2018, joint action to expel Russian diplomats was undertaken by 21 EU members in the US. A total of more than 150 Russian diplomats have been expelled from 28 countries since the attack, including 60 from the US. Salisbury Wiltshire Police and Crime Commissioner Angus McPherson said, I'm very pleased to have met Theresa May today and hear her praise Wiltshire Police first responders and the resilience of those who live in Salisbury. Unfortunately the past two weeks has affected local businesses within the cordon areas greatly. And I hope that once the cordons are no longer necessary they are able to return to some normality. Together with Wiltshire Council and other partners I'm committed to ensuring that people in Salisbury are supported during this challenging investigation and in the time after. Deputy Council Leader John Thompson confirmed the authority will be putting in a bid for funding from the government's Bellwin scheme. It's really important that they gather information about what happened to their business about what effect it's had. Some are totally closed so it's obviously at a total standstill for them. We will be contacting those businesses, so it will be really useful if they could prepare some information before we contact them about what their rates are, what their details are etc. Jenny Harries, Regional Director at Public Health England, said that it was difficult for people to understand why they were allowed to get close to scenes that were being examined by officers in hazmat suits, but she emphasised that the risk to the general public is low. There are only three cases in hospital. No members of the public have been harmed by this incident. Zizi issued a statement expressing shock and sadness. Our thoughts are with the victims, their friends and family, and everyone in the Salisbury community who has been affected by this attack, as well as the police and emergency services who have been working tirelessly across the last seven days, it said. Zizi Salisbury remains closed as part of the ongoing police investigation. Our priority is to ensure the well-being of our team and support our Zizi Salisbury customers, as well as continuing to do everything we can to help the police. We are fully supporting our Zizi team members, and our team will continue to receive full payment while the Salisbury restaurant is closed. National On 12 March 2018, speaking in the House of Commons, Prime Minister Theresa May delivered a statement on the incident, saying, Foreign Secretary. Boris Johnson said the evidence against Russia was overwhelming. He told the BBC on the 21st of March. Johnson told a select committee of MPs that the attack on Skripal was designed to bolster support ahead of the recent Russian elections. He also stated that Russia's President Vladimir Putin will use the 2018 FIFA World Cup hosted in the summer to bolster his image like Hitler did in the 1936 Olympics. Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson said, What we will do, we will look at how Russia responds to what we have done. It is absolutely atrocious and outrageous what Russia did in Salisbury. We have responded to that. Frankly, Russia should go away and should shut up. But if they do respond to the action we have taken, we will consider it carefully and we will look at our options, but it would be wrong to prejudge their response. He also announced plans for thousands of British soldiers be vaccinated against anthrax poisoning. It is part of a range of measures included £48 million that will be invested to create a cutting-edge chemical weapons defence centre at Porton Down in Wiltshire. On 27 March while in Estonia, Williamson welcomed the Russian expulsions. I think that is the very best response that we can have, because their intention, their aim, is to divide and what we are seeing is the world uniting behind the British stance. That in itself is a great victory, and that sends an exceptionally powerful message to the Kremlin and President Putin, the leader of the opposition. Jeremy Corbyn criticized the government for directly accusing Russia of the attack without sufficient evidence. He was rebuked by the Prime Minister, Theresa May, who said Corbyn should join in condemning Russia. On 15 March, 
Corbyn after facing mounting criticism criticized Russia, saying, Chief of the Air Staff Sir Stephen Hillier said in a speech, to mark the 100th anniversary of the Royal Air Force that if Moscow launched a chemical weapons attack on Salisbury, it is proof that they could defy international rulings to destroy valuable satellites in orbit. I don't foresee, if you like, a war in space. But I can see us being contested for use of space and for people trying to deny some of our specific capabilities. We already see that, to a significant degree and we need to be prepared to deal with that threat. Federal On 18 March 2018, following his election in the Russian presidential election, 2018, newly re-elected President Vladimir Putin stated. On 14, presidential spokesman Dmitry Peskov stated, Moscow has nothing to do with the accident in Britain and Moscow does not accept unfounded accusations that are not based on evidence and a language of ultimatums. Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov referred to the statement made by the British Parliament that the Russian government explained the attack as an ultimatum from London, while Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov had denied that either the Soviet Union or Russia ever had a program to create the Novichok nerve agent identified as having been used chair of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the Federation Council and Senator, from the Mariel Konstantin Kosachev said, This is not our choice, definitely. We have not raised any tensions in our relations. It was the decision by the British side without evidence. I believe sooner or later we will learn the truth. And this truth will be definitely very unpleasant for the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, and others who he says, have absolutely blindly supported this theory of Russian involvement. On 17 March, Russia announced it was kicking out 23 British diplomats, and ordered the closure of the UK's consulate in St. Petersburg and the British Council Office in Moscow, stopping all British Council activities in the Russian Federation. In March 2018, the deputy of the state Duma Vitaly Milanov said that Britain was responsible for the attack. Comparing the Prime Minister Theresa May to Adolf Hitler, Milanov claimed that, it's a behavior of Hitler when he blamed someone for the burning of the Reichstag. The extraordinary claims to BBC Radio 4 led to him being taken off air. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said on 25 March 2018 that Russia's ambassador in London had received, from the UK Foreign Office only poorly worded formal replies to the Russian side's inquiries and notes on the case. With the quality of work of the British side she described as, hasty actions and complete lack of in-house coordination. Also on 25 March 2018, Igor Ibalkenko, head of the Laboratory for Chemical and Analytical Control at the Russian Defense Ministry said the Russian side cannot make any conclusions as it still hasn't received the samples from the UK that Moscow had requested. All that we know is that all substances of this class are very difficult to overcome in case of injuries and the antidote therapy will hardly bring about the desired effect. Expulsion of Russian diplomats and suspected intelligence officers By the end of March 2018 a number of countries and other organizations expelled Russian diplomats in a show of solidarity with the UK in the largest collective expulsion of Russian intelligence officers in history. The UK expelled 23 Russian diplomats on March 14. Russia expelled an equal number and announced closure of the UK consulate in St. Petersburg and closure of the British Council in Russia. News outlets reported on March 23 that 10 EU nations were considering the expulsion of Russian diplomats. Nine of these nations took such action three days later, along with six other EU nations, the USA, Canada, Ukraine, and Albania. The following day other nations inside and outside of the EU, and NATO responded similarly. On March 30, Russia expelled an equal number of diplomats tit for tat again most nations who had expelled Russian diplomats. By that time, Belgium, Montenegro, Hungary and Georgia had also expelled one or more Russian diplomats. Additionally on March 30, Russia reduced the size of the total UK mission to Russia to match that of the Russian mission to the UK. Bulgaria, Luxembourg, Malta, Portugal, Slovakia, Slovenia, and the European Union itself have not expelled any Russian diplomats, but have recalled their ambassadors from Russia for consultations. Furthermore, Iceland has decided to diplomatically boycott the 2018 FIFA World Cup held in Russia. 2018 FIFA World Cup 
In response to the March 2018 poisoning of Sergei and Yulia Skripal, British Prime Minister Theresa May announced that no British ministers or members of the royal family would attend the World Cup. Furthermore, Iceland has also decided to diplomatically boycott the 2018 FIFA World Cup held in Russia. The England national football team manager Gareth Southgate said his players are still preparing to attend the World Cup in Russia, adding, There is no doubt in my mind that is what we should be doing. When asked if the developing response to the Salisbury attack could see the government lead a boycott of the World Cup, Mr Southgate said, I think it is a matter that is completely out of my control. We are desperate to go to the World Cup. That is really where my remit ends. At that matter. But he added it will be an individual choice for England supporters as to whether they travel to Russia in June. RT announced Jose Mourinho as its main pundit for the 2018 FIFA World Cup a day after the incident in Salisbury. But he had repeatedly refused to answer any questions about the role. In a statement given to Press Association Sport, Ron the MP Chris Bryant said, To my mind, this is blood money, paid directly from the Russian state coffers. Religious Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby described the attack on former spy Sergei Skripal in Salisbury as a terrible event, and said those responsible should be held accountable. Media Charles Wood and Mary Killen a couple on Channel 4 Gogglebox have risked inflaming diplomatic tensions with Israel by suggesting that Mossad was responsible for the Salisbury nerve agent attack. Their comments were made during the segment of the show featuring news coverage of the attack. A Channel 4 spokesperson explained that the show's fans, who are accustomed to the couple's musings, would understand that the comments were not intended to be taken seriously and said, the Gogglebox families, like members of the public all over the UK, were speculating about the Salisbury attack. Five families were shown discussing it and theories ranged from Sherlock Holmes to film plots. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?